Okay, so backstory for this video. One day I decided to mess around with ChatGPT. I used chat.openai.com and the first couple things I generated were scripts for League videos by me. I wanted to see what it would spit out and it gave me some pretty fun results that were scarily close to the real thing. So I thought it would be funny to use this in my AP Alistair video. If you've seen it, you'll know that there's this part at the beginning that I said was generated by an AI. And yes, I really did use AI to generate that part. I had to do it a couple times before it gave me something I could use, but eventually this is the one I landed on and the one that I put in the video. It was a pretty fun bit and I got a lot of comments saying, wow, I can't believe it AI did that, and I agree, it's pretty crazy and a little scary. And what better way to use this crazy scary thing than to generate a new story? That's right guys, today I'm gonna use AI to help me generate Darkman the movie. So grab some popcorn, strap in your seatbelt, and cut off the back part of your chair, because you're gonna be on the edge of your seat the whole time. First of all, before we do that though, I need to tell you guys something important. Um... This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Guys, Surfshark is a VPN. Basically, you can use it to encrypt your data to make the stuff you do on the internet safer and to make your computer think that it's in any location in the world. Let's say, for example, you're in America and you want to play a game with your friend in Japan, but the game won't let you guys play on the same server. Well, with Surfshark, you can just be like, hey, computer, you fool, I am in Japan, and you can game with your friend till the cows come home. Another example, just the other day, I was doing movie night with my Patreon supporters. We do it at the beginning of each month, and this month I wanted us to watch Iga, an Indian movie about a guy who turns into a fly. It's sick as hell, dude. But when I went to Amazon, I noticed that it wasn't available in my region. So what did I do? Did I slump back in my chair and cry? Yes! But after that, I just used Surfshark to change my location to the UK. After that, I cried again. But this time, not tears of sadness, but rather, tears of joy. Guys, please go ahead and try out Surfshark. I recommend the hell out of it. It's super easy to use, and it's a very nice tool to have. If you scan the QR code on screen, or use my link in the description with my promo code DARK, you can get three months extra with any plan you buy. Go ahead and try it out, guys. It's a great VPN solution for all your devices with 24-7 support, and it has a 30-day money-back guarantee. Thanks, Surfshark, for sponsoring this video. Now, let's generate some stuff. Okay, write a script for Darkmane the movie. In this movie, we learn about the journey of Darkmane the YouTuber. In it, there's a great adventure, and there's a powerful lesson to be learned at the end. Fade in. Darkman's hometown, Day. We see a bustling city filled with people going about their daily lives. Cut to a young man, Darkman, walking down the street, staring at his phone. He's wearing a hoodie and has a backpack slung over his shoulder. I always felt like there was something missing in my life. I was just going through the motions, doing what everyone else was doing. Cut to a flashback of Darkman as a kid sitting at his desk staring out a window. I would daydream about all the things I wanted to do, but I never felt like I had the courage to do them. Cut back to present day. Darkman stops at a coffee shop and orders a latte. He takes a sip and pulls out his laptop. But one day, I decided enough was enough. I was tired of feeling like I was just existing, so I started making videos. Cut to a montage of Darkman filming videos, editing them, and uploading them to YouTube. We see him gain followers and subscribers and become more confident. It wasn't easy at first, I had a lot of self-doubt, and I didn't know if anyone would even watch my videos, but I kept going, and eventually, I found my voice. Cut to Darkman filming a video outside in front of a crowd of fans. And that's where things really started to take off. Cut to Darkman walking down the street checking his phone, but fame comes with its own set of challenges. Suddenly, Darkman is surrounded by a group of fans all clamoring for his attention. Darkman, can I get a picture with you? Darkman, can you sign my phone case? Oh, this is a very flattering story for me, isn't it? Sorry guys, I'm kind of in a hurry. Cut to Darkman walking into a dark alleyway. He hears footsteps behind him and turns around. Who's there? Suddenly, he's attacked by a group of thugs. <laughs> What? Oh no! But wait, no, it's okay. Darkman fights back using his martial arts skills to take them down, naturally. I never thought I would need to use my martial arts skills in real life. What? <laughs> I get what that means, but it almost sounds like I've only done them in my head. I mean, I believe that too. I am that powerful, clearly. Never thought I would need to use my martial arts skills in real life, but I'm glad I had them when I needed them. Cut to Darkman sitting in his apartment, staring at his laptop. But the more successful I became, the more I started to feel like something was missing again. Cut to a montage of Darkman scrolling through social media, feeling envious of other creators. I started to compare myself to other people, and I felt like I wasn't good enough. Oh. That's, you know, that's like a, that's like almost relatable. Maybe the lesson I'm gonna learn here is that eventually I need to, you know, focus on myself and not compare myself to like other people out there. I just need to be me, you know? Oh, wait a second. Cuts to Darkmane's laptop as he receives a message from a mysterious stranger. I've been watching your videos, Darkmane. I think you have what it takes to be a real hero. A hero? Cut to Darkmane meeting the mysterious stranger in a deserted parking lot. I represent a group of people who fight crime and protect the innocent. We need someone like you, Darkmane. What do I have to do? So I'm just, I'm on board, I guess. That was all it took, dude. Oh, wait, I can just hit continue generating. Okay, so I could continue generating, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write my own lore. Okay, so here's my pitch. Okay, the mysterious stranger 
pulls a bald eagle out of his pocket. You have to eat this, he says. It's the only way. Darkman is standing outside of his apartment building holding a bald eagle in his hands. He looks at the bird in shock. What do you mean I have to eat this? It's the only way to prove your worth. Are you willing to do what it takes to become a hero? <laughs> you have to eat this bald eagle or else you can't be a hero, you hear me? Dude, this guy's just an asshole who wants me to eat an eagle. Fuck this guy, you don't need to do this to be a hero. Okay, Darkman hesitates for a moment, but then he remembers why he started making videos in the first place. He wants to do something meaningful with his life. Yes, I'll do it. He takes a deep breath and begins to eat the bird. It's a disgusting and difficult task, but he manages to finish it. You have passed the test. Welcome to the team, Darkman. <laughs> Darkman feels a sense of pride and accomplishment. Why? What is there to be proud about that you just did? You just ate an eagle. I'm pretty sure it's a crime. Well, at least it helped me finally find a purpose in life, I guess. What do I have to do now? We need your help taking down a notorious criminal who has been terrorizing the city. We believe he's planning a big heist tonight. Thanks for eating that eagle. Now let's go stop crime. Darkman and the team are crouched behind some crates, watching as the criminal's minions load a truck with stolen goods. This is it. Let's move in. The team jumps out from behind the crates and begins to fight the minions. Darkman uses his martial arts skills to take down several of them. I've got your back! Good work, Darkman, but we still have to stop the leader. They make their way to the back of the warehouse, where they find the criminal loading a crate onto a truck. Freeze! You're under arrest. The criminal laughs. <laughs> You'll never catch me! He jumps under the truck and starts to drive away. Darkman jumps under the roof of the truck and starts to fight the criminal. You're not getting away that easily! The criminal tries to shake him off, but Darkman holds on tight. Finally, he's able to knock the criminal off the truck and subdue him. Great work, Darkman. You're a natural hero. Darkman is sitting in front of his computer editing a video about his experience as a hero. He feels fulfilled and happy. I never would have guessed that eating a bald eagle would lead to me to become a hero. <laughs> he finishes editing the video and uploads it to YouTube. He smiles knowing that he's finally found a purpose in life. You know? I learned that it's not about being the best or comparing yourself to others. It's about finding what makes you happy and pursuing it with all your heart. Wow, what a wonderful story. You just gotta find what makes you happy and pursue it. You just gotta eat it and then pay a $250,000 fine. Okay, I like the eagle eating subplot. I'm gonna bring it back into the mix. The video that Darkman thought he uploaded was about League of Legends. However, it turns out that he accidentally uploaded the footage of him eating the bald eagle. Fade in. Darkman's apartment. Day. Darkman is sitting at his desk scrolling through the comments on his latest YouTube video. He's confused and disappointed by the overwhelmingly negative responses he's receiving. Darkman, reading a comment out loud. How could you do something so barbaric and upload it for the world to see? This is disgusting. He can't understand why people are so angry. He thought he had uploaded a video about League of Legends, but apparently something went wrong. How did that footage even get on my computer? I didn't know someone was filming that. Suddenly, there's a knock at the door. Darkman goes to answer it and finds the mysterious stranger standing there. We have a problem. You mean the video? Yes. The bald eagle you ate was actually a rare and protected species. The authorities are coming after us. You made me eat it! Darkman is horrified. He had no idea the bird was endangered. How? Uh, How did- What are we gonna do? We have to turn ourselves in. It's the only way to make things right. Darkman nods, feeling ashamed of his actions. He and the mysterious stranger go to the authorities and turn themselves in. This piece of shit has ruined my life. Darkman is standing before a judge, feeling nervous and scared. The judge looks down at him sternly. Mr. Maine, you have been charged with the illegal hunting and consumption of a bald eagle, a protected species. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Darkman takes a deep breath. Your Honor, I had no idea that that bird was endangered. I made a mistake, and I take full responsibility for my actions. The judge nods, looking slightly less angry. Very well, Mr. Maine, I'm gonna give you a chance to make things right. I'm sentencing you to community service at a wildlife rehabilitation center. You will work there for the next six months helping to care for and rehabilitate injured animals. Darkman feels relieved and grateful for the chance to make amends. Thank you, Your Honor. I won't let you down. Cut to Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. Day. Darkman is wearing a volunteer uniform and working alongside the staff to care for injured animals. He feels a sense of purpose and fulfillment, knowing that he's making a difference. You know, sometimes our mistakes can lead us down unexpected paths. I never would have guessed that eating a bald eagle would teach me such a powerful lesson. But I'm grateful for the chance to make amends and do something good for the world. Aww. That's the ending of Act 3. I'm volunteering at a wildlife center. I mean, it's court-ordered volunteering, but still. Okay, so, you know, this is like the... It, we had, like, the low point. On our hero's journey, we've had the low point, which was being in the courtroom for eating the bald eagle. But now we're going up. This is our... We're on the upswing now. And now that I have more of a connection with animals, I think I know exactly where the story has to go. You know, I feel like each addition I make to this story gets longer and longer. <laughs>
Darkman is carefully tending to the ivory billed woodpecker enclosure when suddenly a flash of light appears in front of him. Startled, he steps back and shields his eye from the sudden brightness. As the light fades, Darkman sees the spirit of the bald eagle he had eaten standing before him. He can't believe his eyes. Alright, so it is a bald eagle, so I'm gonna give him a little bit of an accent. Darkman, it's taken me a while to get to this point, but I forgive you for eating me. You're clearly trying to better yourself, and it seems you have much more respect for animals now. Darkman feels a wave of relief wash over him. He had been carrying the guilt of his actions for so long, and now he finally feels like he's being absolved. Thank you so much. Much. I'm so sorry for what I did. But there's something you need to know. The person actually responsible for my death is still out there. You have to stop the mysterious stranger from doing this again. Darkman is confused. He thought he and the mysterious stranger had made things right by turning themselves in. What do you mean? The mysterious stranger was with me that day. We both ate the bird. What? Wait, what? Hold on. I thought, okay, in my head, what I thought happened is the guy took the bird out of his pocket, gave it to me, and I ate the whole bird. You're saying we shared the bird? I thought that was supposed to be like a test. Why did he eat it too? Now it just seems like he just wanted to share a snack with me. What do you mean? The mysterious stranger was with me that day. We both ate the bird, apparently. Ah, no, but he's still hunting and killing endangered species. He's doing it for sport, not for survival. <laughs> Darkman is understandably horrified. He can't believe the person he thought was his friend could be capable of something so cruel. All right, I'll do whatever it takes to stop him. Good. You have my trust and my blessing. Use your platform to raise awareness and educate others about the importance of protecting endangered species. The spirit of the bald eagle fades away, leaving Darkman feeling determined and inspired. Okay, I guess I just make YouTube videos about endangered species now. Cut to wilderness area, day. Darkman is walking through a dense forest, searching for the mysterious stranger. He's armed with nothing but a camera and a strong sense of purpose. Man, I really am a YouTuber. After a few hours of hiking, he comes across a clearing where he sees the mysterious stranger setting up a trap for a rare and endangered species of butterfly. Darkman confronts him, and they get into a heated argument. The mysterious stranger tries to justify his actions, but Darkman refuses to listen. Finally, the mysterious stranger realizes the error of his ways and agrees to stop hunting endangered species. Darkman feels a sense of relief and gratitude. He knows that he's made a difference. I never thought my mistake would lead me down this path, but I'm grateful for the opportunity to make amends and help protect the animals that I love. The spirit of the bald eagle showed me that it's never too late to make a difference. And we fade out. Alright, that was cool. Kind of wrapped itself up a little bit too neatly, though. Let's add a little bit of extra conflict. Okay, so this next edition is really long. It's also probably the last one, so I'm gonna, s I'm gonna try to wrap it up with this. Okay, fade in. Open field. Day. Darkman and the stranger are inside Darkman's jeep, driving towards society. Suddenly, Darkman's senses tingle, and he becomes aware of a strange energy emanating from the stranger. Wait a minute. Something's not right here. Darkman glances at the stranger only to realize that he's been charging his cosmic beam attack. Panic sets in as Darkman realizes he's about to be attacked. Before Darkman can react, the stranger points his palm towards him, yelling, COSMIC BEAM! A powerful beam of energy shoots towards Darkman's head, threatening to engulf him. Just as it seems all hope is lost, a golden aura surrounds Darkman, protecting him from the attack. He looks down stunned and realizes that the spirit of the bald eagle has bestowed him with incredible powers. You underestimated me, stranger. This is a power you can't comprehend. The stranger, now filled with fear, watches as Darkman and the eagle spirit speak in unison. Alright, right, I tried being nice. Now, now it's, it's time, time to do things my way. With newfound power, Darkman and the eagle spirit burst out of the jeep and take to the sky. They engage in a fierce magical battle, flying and maneuvering with incredible speed and agility. Beams of energy clash, creating explosions of light and sound. Darkman's attacks are fueled by his determination to protect endangered species and make the stranger pay for his actions. You won't harm any more innocent creatures. It ends here. The stranger fights back using his own dark and destructive magic. The battle rages on, showcasing their intense powers and determination. As the fight reaches its climax, Darkman unleashes a massive burst of energy, overwhelming the stranger and knocking him down. It's over. You will never harm another living being again. The stranger, weakened and defeated, looks up at Darkman with a mix of anger and defeat. You may have won this time, but there are others like me. The fight is not over. What do you mean there are others like you? There's like a team of people eating endangered animals? Well, if that's true, then I'll be there to stop them too. I won't rest until every endangered species is protected. The stranger vanishes, leaving Darkman with a new sense of purpose and the responsibility to continue his mission. Cut to Wildlife Reserve, day. Darkman, now more determined than ever, stands at the entrance of the Wildlife Reserve. He watches over the animals with a vigilant eye, ready to defend and protect them. I've learned that true power comes from within, and it's up to us to use that power responsibly. I will be the guardian of the creatures that cannot defend themselves. Darkman looks towards the sky where the spirit of the bald eagle soars above, watching over him. With the spirit of the bald eagle guiding me, I will ensure that no harm comes to these endangered species. Together, we will make a difference. Darkman raises his fist in determination, ready to continue his fight against those who threaten the natural world. And then, we fade out. Well, guys, I think that might be it. That was like a full story. There was a full arc there. But of course, we gotta add one last thing. 
a cool after credit scene. Okay, I know at this point I'm not really letting the AI generate a lot. I'm kind of pretty much just writing this story at this point, but I'm invested, okay? It's gotta be a satisfying ending. Fade in, parking lot, night. The after credit scene begins with the stranger meeting a mysterious hooded figure in a dimly lit parking lot. The figure's face is concealed, but there's a sense of determination in his voice. So, you wanna be a hero? The stranger pulls a bald eagle out of his pocket, his twisted smile hinting at his malevolent intentions. All you have to do is eat this. It's the only way. The hooded figure, unfazed, responds with a calm yet firm tone. I think you're the one who needs to eat something. You need to taste your own medicine. Darkman, revealing his true identity, points his palm at the stranger with unwavering resolve. COSMIC BEAM! A beam of cosmic energy surges forth from Darkman's outstretched hand, striking the stranger directly. The stranger's expression shifts from confidence to pure fear within milliseconds as he realizes the gravity of the situation. In a spectacular display of power, the stranger is completely obliterated, vanishing into oblivion. The bald eagle remains unharmed, as if a symbol of the triumph of justice over cruelty. Darkman, victorious, removes his hood, revealing his face to the world. He sets the eagle free, watching it soar into the night sky, Darkmane, with a smirk, <laughs> I guess you could say, justice has finally taken flight. The camera pans out, capturing Darkmane standing tall, a hero in his own right, with the eagle gliding gracefully above. Fade out. The. End. Yes! Masterpiece! Alright, so the movie will come out in 40 years, uh, I think for Darkmane, uh, you know, I have somebody that I think would be pretty good at playing him. Uh, Chris Pratt. So yeah, just look forward to that.